Hello, it's Dr. Triple Seven, and in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to transform Windows 8 into a transparent look. Now, this video was recorded on April 30th, 2013. If you're watching this video a year later, a couple of months later, there may be better methods of accomplishing the transparent look, but as of today, I think this is probably one of the better methods, and it definitely works. So we're accomplishing this task by using a program called Winter Arrow Glass and a start screen customizer which will make our start screen transparent. So what you can do is go ahead and download both of them in the description below off two different websites. One for the Winter Arrow Glass, which is currently in the alpha version and doesn't actually have a UI, so I'll be showing you guys how to use it. Um, pretty soon they'll be releasing newer versions of it will be easier to use. Um, you know, have a UI, you can uncheck and check it. But for now, we'll have to deal with this. The next link is for the Start Screen Customizer. Um, I have did a video on it before. It's a great program. You can change your wallpaper, a bunch of st different stuff. But we'll be using a small little part of it. But still, it's a great program to try out, even if you're not following this tutorial. Once you downloaded both of them, you'll have these two here. Just go ahead and extract both of them. Now, um, you're going to have the modern UI, so you'll have to go to that program and right click it and go to rename. And where it has a little underscore, just delete that and add an E. And it's going to click yes, and that's going to make the program actually like work. So the first thing we're going to do is enable Win Arrow Glass. This can be accomplished easily by just double clicking. As soon as you click, you'll see that Win Arrow Glass has taken effect. Um, if I open up my Chrome here, you can see it's gla glass over there as well. Now it is still in the beta stage, like I said, so every once in a while it does glitch a bit, but um, it works pretty well. You can see, you can see right through it. The only thing that does not make transparent is your bottom dock. So what you can do for that is go to the personalization menu, go to color, and kind of play with the color intensity until you find one that's kind of transparent but you will have to go back and open up air glass again for it to take the full effect on the browser and file explorer now if you want this to work as soon as you turn your computer on you'll have to do this little trick to have it start automatically now by default every time you log off it's going to cancel and that's how you actually exit out of this if you don't like the look just log out log back in and it'll be gone but if you want to keep the look permanently and have it always um, turn on as soon as your computer turns on Follow this tip. So just right click the window arrow glass and go to create shortcut. Then hold the Windows key on your keyboard and, and press R. That will bring in the run menu. Type in percentage, app data percentage, and click OK. I'll have this code in the description below so you can just type it in or paste it in, sorry. Then what you want to do is go scroll down to the Microsoft folder. And scroll down right to the bottom and open up the Windows folder. And then open up the Start menu. Open up Programs. And then look for the Startup folder. Open that up. And what you want to do is just copy this and simply paste it into here. That will automatically run Win arrow glass as soon as your computer logs in. The next step is going to be um, customizing our start menu. So if you go to our start menu right now, obviously it's not transparent, it looks kind of ugly. Um, if you don't use the start menu, then you can just skip this task and you kind of got a transparent look. And this is the best transparency we can get right now in Windows 8. Because of them disabling the um, arrow look, it's very hard to get the transparent look. Anyone running Windows 7 can use Black Glass Enhanced, which kind of makes the whole program or the whole um, file explorer transparent. For now, the only thing we got is a transparent title bar. So the next thing we use is this program right here. So go ahead and open it up. And what you want to do is the first thing to do is, is use a wallpaper. So you can load a picture or you can click use desktop wallpaper. I would suggest that personally. And what you want to do is go to Start Screen Opacity and drag it. If you pull it all the way over here and click Apply and Save, you'll see that you can barely even notice it's on. So I wouldn't suggest that one. 
you can try like halfway which is about like 180 or, or so and click apply and save and you can see that it's transparent but we can still work with it so that gives it a good cool pretty look so you can just pull it around and see what you like so you can choose how much and what you can also do is apply this blur if you use Photoshop this blur is also available in Photoshop and you should be more um, familiar with it basically what it does is you can see when you click on it, it gives you a little preview here it kind of blurs the background so if you like this kind of look with the transparency kind of blurs the background and kind of makes your icon stand out more then you can also go for that if you want this to start at the beginning as well you can click run and startup and it will automatically run that blurred um, transparency start menu look on your start menu this program has a bunch of other options I won't really go through but you can also go with tiles opacity so you can choose kind of what you like you can play with those you can mix and match them and you can see there I got a different look there and if you drag it all the way to the right it turns it off so mix and match them until you like them. Um, this program, like I said though before, has many different options. So you can change wallpaper, some default ones here, more colors, number of rows. And of course, if you want to apply anything to the default, just click default and it kind of resets everything back to normal again. Anyways guys, that's about it for this video though. Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy. I'll probably do an updated video eventually um, when a better transparency look comes out though. But someone did ask me if there's any possible transparency at the current moment. And this is what we got. Anyways, guys, that's what it for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a like. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you leave them below. And besides that, happy hacking, and I'll see you in my next video. This is the Hacker 7 and I'm signing off.